everyone, I am your host Zoe and today I am with NUTV to do a love spin the wheel. Roll it away. What's your love language? Mm, quality time. Watch a movie like this Netflix chill Saturday morning, just early in the morning. I'd probably have to say um, quality time or acts of service. I find those work really well and especially as a university student, I don't have to spend a lot of money doing them. But, you know, it's kept my relationship going for quite a while with that. Um, first celeb crush. This is good. Damn. Tom Holland. You're so real for that. How do, how do we feel about Tom Holland and Zendaya together, though? Slay. <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, Shah Rukh Khan, he's a Bollywood actor. What do you like about him? Bruh, he's like... He's like the symbol of brown love, you know? Yeah, when he does his like open arms thing, shit. <laughs> He's at my standards, I can't lie. <laughs> Is he like tall, has like nice, luscious black hair? He's gorgeous. He's got the brown hair, the brown eyes. My type, for real. Drew Garfield, best Spider-Man. You're so real for that. Listen, in The Amazing Spider-Man, did you see him in Andrew Garfield in The Amazing Spider-Man? Yes. Thoughts? He's almost as old as my dad, but... Yeah, you know what? Facts. Best relationship advice you've had? You're working together to make it work. You're both on the same team. Yeah. Yeah, most of the time it's just not that deep. They probably didn't mean to hurt your feelings or whatever, and you just gotta put yourself in the other person's shoes. Also, communication, just talking about it. Yeah, for sure. I love that. Well, I gotta be honest with you. I have not gotten a lot of good relationship advice. I'll give you the worst relationship advice I've heard, and it's just like, um, how's it go? It'll come when, you, when you're not looking for it. And it's always people who are in relationships saying like, oh, you know, if you try to look for it, it's not gonna happen. Just like, it'll happen when you're not looking for it. And that's like the most egregious piece of advice I've ever heard. It's literally the most annoying thing ever, and it does not help. 100% agree with you. I, it's nice but I hate that piece of advice. Yeah, great, okay, you found it. You can't say anything to me. What is a red flag? Oh, I definitely think it it is a red flag for me when people only talk about themselves. Um, it's cool to be passionate about things and I love that, but if you never ask a question, it's like, okay. <laughs> supporting Travis Kelsey going to Taylor Swift concerts, but not supporting Taylor Swift going to Travis Kelsey games. Is age just a number? Um, I mean, kind of. It, it depends on the person. It depends on if you're right for each other. Yeah, that's true. And do you, what do you think is like a good age gap for you? For me, uh, probably like one year. My fiance is eight months older. Oh, that's so cute. How long have you and your fiance known each other? Like three years. Where'd you meet? That's, I gotta know. Uh, in high school. High school sweethearts, that's perfect! Okay, what what do you think, like, do you think you should date someone, like, older, younger, or do you just want your age? I mean, I mean, it can get really gross, right? If you're just saying, like, age is just a number. Um, I think if you're at the same stage in life, right? Like, if you're in the same grade in university, but you're like different ages, then that's fine because you're at the same point in life. But if you're dating a high schooler and you're in university, that's, right? That's way too different. <laughs> yeah. I would have to say definitely not, unless you're over the age of 25, then it becomes a little bit more acceptable. Because, you know, I don't, I really don't think anybody under the age of 25 should be getting with somebody, you know, 10, 15 years older than them. That's just my personal opinion. I thought you were going to say younger and I was like, yeah, no. Oh, okay. Um, pal slash Galentine's plans. My friend's birthday is on Valentine's Day, so we'll be celebrating her. What about you? I, I think I have an exam. Best spot for an impressive date? Arcade. 100%. 100%. Why would you say arcade? Because I'm competitive. You're competitive? Yeah. What game would you like know you'd win against your partner? All of them. I love the confidence. Okay, well, say hi. Say hi. Hi, Mom. <laughs> okay. We're going to spin the wheel and ask you a question. 
okay? Honesty, peace of mind, kindness, maturity. Gracias, Mother Iturriza. 